is going to get one jump and he's going to pull back. But he has five time for his um sport uh sport colonies to finish. So that's not uh too big of a lose here. Let's uh let's see what he's um what he's going to put down after this layer. Yeah, the one thing the wear has going right now is that he has more zerglings and actually two things. He has more zerglings and more drones. And if he continues to pressure like this with his zerglings and is able to sneak a few in, then maybe he can kill a couple drones. But at the same time, the mutas are in his natural uh, powering down the spore colonies. There's just so many mutas right now that he's just picking at those drones and the spore colonies at the same time. Um, both players, I think, are trying to battle for uh, just drone counts right now. Um, where, like I said, I wanted him to put down a couple more spore colonies. He didn't quite do it soon enough. There are a lot of mutas out now, and he's losing his spore colonies, so oh my God. he's not going to be able to defend against the mutas at all. Um, once all the spore colonies are down, then he's just going to lose the base, going to lose all the drones there, and I do believe Ware is completely out of this game. Yeah. I have to agree with you on this one. And Flash is smelling. It's like, oh, I, uh, my lose didn't cause my team to, to lose. So and it looks like Zerming is going again, trying to draw the Mulas back. But there is way too many Mulas. Um, where doesn't where can just um, I mean, Perfective can just use those uh, Mulas that are spawned to defend against against the things and just attack with his um Mulas and it's coming in again. This is just um. Just um too bizarre for CJ to lose like three or four games because of the build order. I have to say it's um it's a coach lose. KD has a better coach. Yeah, I uh, I hate Perfective right now. I actually <laughs> used to kind of like Perfective, but now I hate Perfective because Perfective is the worst person in the whole world. Uh, the mutas are flying in now. Just gonna pick up all these. Well, all the everything's actually. All the buildings yep. are going to go down. I don't even know just pick up if Ware is going to lose. He's probably too sad to just leave right now. Um, if I was Ware, I would be super depressed. Being a pretty new player, this is really his first season playing a lot. And he's come out in this super crucial match where he has to win or his team is eliminated. And he runs into this just terrible build order disadvantage. And it's really unfortunate for Ware. There's GG coming out now from Ware. Um, I, I can't blame him for delaying that a little bit. Uh, it's going to be, anyway, KT winning 4-2. Um, I am obviously super unbiased. And I'm very happy for KT. Super unbiased. Uh, they're going to get to move into the finals or whatever, I guess. Uh, Congratulations. I guess I'm just not going to watch that because KT is so terrible. <laughs> uh, pretty good. It's, um, uh, as, at least we got one good game. It's Lita versus Flash. Yeah. And, but the uh, Perfective has just killed e so, yeah. Anyways, see you guys. Thanks for watching. So you guys, what? Thank you to Nanashin, by the way. Nanashin is the best for streaming. But thank you to everyone yep. for watching. We got over 300 today, which I think is a first. So, we got 400 at the point, I think. Oh, did we actually? That's yeah. pretty sweet. And thank you to Eden, obviously, for streaming. Yeah, I know. He covered well. the Flash game. Okay, thank you. I know it's very late in your time. And thank you for um, yeah. casting. And thank all you guys for uh, watching. If you can, you can comment on my thread. The link is down um, below. Anyways, thank you, guys. See you. Thanks, man. You too. See you. Looking forward to cast with you yep. in the MSL and uh, probably finals. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Good night.